What is a morale patch? It's a basic form of nonverbal human expression. There are modern day crests, our symbols, expressing support, emotion, reflection, or even remembrance. Morale patches can convey humor, sorrow, knowledge, or achievement. Each is a memento, holding a special meaning that relates to a memory or experience. As an artist, a morale patch to me is something entirely different. It's unique. It's not a t-shirt, it's not a poster, it is something that is tangible, it's made of stitches. It's gone from a concept, to a sketch, to a final piece of artwork, and then into a production sample. And then from the production sample come all these morale patches. For me, morale patch collecting is a little bit different, I guess, from what I've seen other people uh, doing and posting online and sharing pictures. For me, it's just a little bit more of a a lighthearted hobby. I really like that morale patches can convey a full range of emotions from very humorous to very respectful and everything in between and I love that you can choose the one that fits right in the moment for the way that you feel. I like patches because there's so many different ones out there. Uh, you can find anything from ones that are inspired by movies, cartoons, comics, Personally, I've always admired the original artwork and the design that went into World War II bomber nose art and the, the art on Huey helicopters in Vietnam. And I see morale patches as kind of a modern nose art. There's something that you can wear and represent uh, on a hat or bag or jacket or anything. When I decided to sew some patches onto a pair of jeans that I recently wore to Comic-Con, I wanted to find some patches that were, um, they kind of made me think of things that I used to really be a big fan of growing up and still kind of like as an adult. So I looked for some hero type of patches. I just started collecting patches and didn't really have a place to put them on. So I got some loop, threw them on my backpack, and now every once in a while I can change out my patch. Um, so if something new comes out or if I want to support something or showcase I'm into you know, a certain thing or you know, whatever it is, um, I can just show it off. Whether someone puts it on a hat, a koozie, or a bag, it's a way for them to express their feelings and their emotions at that given time. But ultimately, I think it boils down to the artwork. People like to collect artwork. They collect comic books, they collect paintings, and they collect morale patches. I love seeing how different people's patch collections can be. They're really diverse and not everybody's collecting the same type of patch. Some people collect patches from a, a specific company and some collect from a certain theme. And I really love that you can, you can see people's thought go into their collection as they, as they build it and as they showcase it. When people talk about morale patches, they're usually referring to military or tactical kind of morale patches. But some of the ones that I like the most are the NASA mission patches from Mercury and Apollo, the shuttle missions. Each one is unique and custom for the astronauts, and it's been kind of one of my dreams to own one that's been to space and one on a spacesuit. I think that's kind of the coolest thing. Having patches that aren't that familiar with everybody, also I think kind of, they stand out on their own. Uh, they're great conversation starters, um, and it's kind of a way to, to showcase that you collect things that are out of the norm. When I'm shipping patches, it's, it's nice to see that people have different tastes and um, the trends, depending on, you know, what, what if it's a seasonal type patch or even a holiday, um, special events. It's just cool that there's a whole culture around patches. Some of my favorite patches are the limited edition or limited run pieces that create a fervor when they're released as everybody tries to grab theirs. I love the exclusivity behind owning these patches and really feel that it makes my collection more unique. When someone spends their hard-earned money on something that I've created to add to their collection, it brings me a sense of joy to know that my artwork has brought someone happiness. While on their own, nylon, cotton, and plastic don't amount to much, combined with thoughtful design and quality workmanship, you can make something that's truly unique and, and mean something to different people. I personally have some that, patches that I've been given or bought or even have earned and they mean certain things to me that I would never trade them or sell them because of their importance. 
We've created the Hook and Loop Society as a community dedicated to the quality and design of morale patches. Join us at hookandloopsociety.com.